President Biden enjoying the 4th of July fireworks show at the White House last night in a break from the growing pressure to step out of the presidential campaign. I had a bad night. I had a bad night. During a radio interview in Wisconsin, Biden admitted his debate performance was poor, but that he's up for the fight. I screwed up. I made a mistake. And, uh, but I learned from my father, when you get knocked down, just get back up. Get back up. And, uh, you know, we're going to do, we're going to win this. Election. The president is also working hard to shore up support in the party. In a meeting with Democratic governors, Biden admitted he needs more sleep and should avoid scheduling activities after 8 p.m. He also mentioned that he was checked by a doctor for a cold since the debate. After that meeting, California Governor Gavin Newsom took to the campaign trail in Michigan to show his support. Joe Biden's our president. He said he's all in. I doubled down, said I'm all in. And not only that, I'm here with you to prove it. At this point, even though Biden says, I'm in it, I'm going all the way to the end, and you hear Democrats still say, some Democrats still saying, he's fine, it was just a call, there was some jet lag and all that. The problem is, they've got a trust problem. CBN chief political correspondent David Brody says while some Democrats maintain support for Biden, the dam has clearly started to break. Three Democratic lawmakers, Lloyd Doggett, Raul Grijalva, and Seth Moulton, are calling for Biden to drop out of the race. I hope that he will put country first. Uh, I know Trump would never do that, but that he will put country first and decide to step aside. Instead, the president is taking up a busy schedule in coming days to show he's up to the task, with campaign stops in Wisconsin and Philadelphia. Thursday, the president spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu about the latest in the negotiations with Hamas for a hostage release deal. The president welcomed Netanyahu's decision to send negotiators to work on the details. Former President Trump has stayed out of the public eye, but in a video posted on his Truth Social site, he's heard blasting the president and vice president, calling Mr. Biden broken down and claiming he's driven him from the race. He's so bad. He's so <laughs> pathetic. Today, in another attempt at damage control, President Biden sits down with ABC's George Stephanopoulos for his first one-on-one -on -one interview since the debate, which will air tonight. Brody Carter, CBN News.